Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Rosmo. During quarantine times, I don't know if it still is, but still, as I am recording this, it is. I watched the Sonic movie with my family, and by all means, I tried to avoid it. Why? I didn't feel like it. SK wanted to watch it so many times, but we didn't. Until I did, and I fell in love with the franchise. Let me get this out of my system first. I am so sad they're not selling these Puma shoes. Like, come on, it's so cool. I would definitely buy this. And with socks? Bruh. Anyway, I'm fine now. I think I am. So anyway, the series Sonic Boom was so intriguing to me, even before I watched the movie. Mostly because of the bright colors and amazing voice acting. There is a certain princess in a castle I like to meet. Voices that catch attention left and right, am I right? <laughs> I'll remember that song. After the song I made, I guess you already expected a Sonic video to come out. That's where this video stems from. Since the voice acting was so great, and the animation was also, but there were times when it lacked emotion a bit. And since I love expressions, I decided decided to animate the parts I wanted to bring out more emotion to the video. Like here's an example critics always use when they say Sonic's expressions in the animation doesn't match the voice acting. I quit heroing and I quit this stupid group! So I decided to animate it but matching the voice. Here's the thing, these two are completely different ways of animating. Obviously I can't compete with a studio that makes animation for a living. So just to weigh the two down. The studio had so many episodes to animate and was only starting off, but the animation and movement were nice and appealing, especially in season 2, like, dang. Also, they have loads of experience animating already. While me, I can show more emotion in the drawing, but not really good or trained in animating and no color, so there's that. First, I started off drawing character sketches for the hair since I wanted to draw them as people, because I can't draw animals and I'm not a furry. First, I drew six different types of hairstyles for Sonic, the main character, who in the series was a lot more funnier since he is a sassy dork who always has a snide remark. Sarcastic and is so egotistical, but is also heroic, I guess. I personally like the first, which many of you chose as well. Next was Amy Rose, the supposed love interest of Sonic. Though I like the version of Amy in the series better because her character isn't just following Sonic around and pursuing Sonic. In the series, she's this super sweet girl who is super bossy and criticizes people, but is also a hypocrite, which makes loads of stuff entertaining. This one had me in a slump. I couldn't choose. I liked the sixth one or the first one, but every style was good too. So I went with four, the most chosen. Next, I sketched Knuckles, my favorite out of the bunch. He is so dumb, it's so fun to watch. So he's this buff muscular guy with a deep voice, but also is the dumb one, and is pointed out almost every episode. So I was more inspired with the hairstyles from 4 to 6. I ended up with 5, which is not that different from 4, just in a ponytail, I guess. Then I went with Sonic's clothes, because he doesn't wear any besides his stupid scarf. I'm hoping the fans like it more than this one. Blech. A joke, I love the scarf. And I had to think of outfits for him. Personally, I liked one. Very modern, right? But many suggested two, and if that fits better with him, then heck yeah, I'm doing that. Amy is easy, since she already has clothes, and Knuckles, say, yeah, I haven't made an outfit for him yet. So in this clip, Sonic goes sassy, like the edgy dork he is, and goes, You know what I think is compassionate? Saving the village from Eggman, like every week. Then it sounds like he got frustrated. But do I get any props for that? No! Then it led to anger. Everyone just goes around gasping at me when I call a guy a guy or people people! And you know, a person is super frustrated when their voices go higher, so... I quit heroing and I quit this stupid group! So I decided to put those emotions in that order. Salty sarcasm, disappointment, anger, and then frustration. If you need context, basically Sonic just called a guy you're just a guy so he can't go on their dangerous missions and everyone gets angry at him so uh, there's that i animate with medibang since i'm used to it with just using different layers and adjusting the opacity so it's kind of like onion skins it's impractical since i have to export each frame so if you know an animation software go with that i'm just using this since i'm used to it i imagine my animation as i go and not keyframe first and then fill in the frames later again it's better to do the latter one than imagining as you go, it's more practical and gives you more animation consistency. After 4 days and almost 150 frames of the first animation, here's the comparison. You know what I think is compassionate? Saving the village from Eggman, like every week. But do I get any props for that? No! Everyone just goes around gasping at me when I call a guy a guy or people people! Whoa. I quit heroing and I quit this stupid group! You know what I think is compassionate? Saving the village from Eggman, like every week.
But do I get any props for that? No! Everyone just goes around gasping at me when I call a guy a guy or people people! Whoa. I quit heroing and I quit this stupid group! Of course, I plan to animate the... <laughs> I can't say with a straight face. I wanted to animate Sonami first. It's basically Sonic and Amy moments. And I like those better in Sonic Boom because Sonic is an edgelord and is 100% pure tsundere. And it's so entertaining. Here's the clip. Looks like she's setting up for a date. A date? I mean, that's cool. I mean, what do I care? <laughs> Stop looking at me. Looks like she's setting up for a date. A date? I mean, that's cool. I mean, what do I care? <laughs> Stop looking at me. Adorable, right? I just had to animate it. That's all I can show you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I plan to show more animation of Sonic Boom reanimated since the voice acting in this show is so great. So yeah, there's one more animated clip I have, but that's for my Patreons. Being a Patreon will support me in making more videos like this. If you want to support me, just pledge $1 and you get stuff like shoutouts, exclusive clips, sketches, and you can see the redrawn animatics clearly. Shout out to my amazing Patrons on Patreon. Is that how you say it? Oh well. The Land of Dreams, Kiara, Aisling, and Stupid Masky. I hope I did not butcher all of those names. Thank you!